talk about Medjit. P guys, people online are going nuts over it. Obscure God from the Egyptian Book of the Dead. I saw the news too. For some reason, they think we speak of false justice. Why do you want to speak on them? Why don't we go after them as our next target? I mean, they're like bad hackers or something, right? They're crackers. Use internet to illegally access and alter data. Organized group of such people recognized by the larger international community. The global scale that makes them even bigger than Kaneshiro. Let's try it out. Impossible is a pseudonym. We don't know how many people are in there. At least one of the members' info. Try to look into it. How we discovered our location. It's a confirmed presence of magic has been online. Any more? Let's have any more ideas. Or I'll put in my thought into it. Can't back down. People are all excited. Everybody's gonna plummet if we don't face this. Man, y'all talk. They have plunged. They taunted us publicly. After all. They are criminals, we cannot let them be. Other targets right now? Let's talk to Machima tomorrow, this is more his thing. Let's do that. Try seeing if your sister has any information on them. It's highly unlikely, but A sure. world-class target, huh? If we can change Medjed's heart, it'll most definitely affect Mementos. That's hard. Natural of photography. Impressive how swiftly the weather turns terrible. Half one of us is simply fated to bring rain wherever he goes. Oh, our grades are out. I did not mean to do that. Woo! I'm suave. All right. I did. I, I meant to. I meant to turn auto off. I didn't mean to skip everything. What did I even place? We were Top of the busy. class. It's not like I can focus on studying. Hey, it's not my fault my scores suck, right? It's your fault. You don't gotta throw the truth right in my face like that. Anyways, there's something more important here. Mishima. You wanna ask me something about the internet, right? Yep. I'm gonna be straight with you here. Do you know who Medjet is? <laughs> you weren't kidding about being direct. Well, I suppose the news about Medjid and the Phantom Thieves has caused quite the commotion. They started out as hackers of justice, but now they only look out for their own self-interests. That's all I know. They were the group I texted him about yesterday. I see. Nobody's sure who actually belongs to Medjid. Well, it looks like things will be exciting this summer. It'll be the Phantom Thieves' world debut, no? Dude. Don't worry, I'll be rooting for the Phantom Thieves. I'll get the forum mobilized as well. Now, if we're done talking here, I really must be going. I'll see you guys later. So, that was fruitless? Yeah. I wonder if anyone else got any info. Machine was pretty useless. You guys get anything? I tried asking my sister, but it seems she didn't have know very much about them. She doesn't specialize in cyber crime after all. I came I didn't come up with anything, no lead, our opponent is elusive. No luck. Medjet, huh? It seems like we won't be able to deal with them by ourselves. Oh yeah. I know summer vacation is due to begin next week, but I have an unfortunate announcement. We'll be holding an emergency assembly on Monday the 25th. Please come to school that day. Settle down. We've had many strange incidents. The psychotic breakdowns, students being dragged into crime rings. Hence, Principal Kobayakawa has instructed all teachers to caution the student body. Well, this is inconvenient for us too, you know, having to find things to warn you about so suddenly. How, how are we gonna find Medjet? No matter how hard I look online, I find unreliable rumors carried out corporate terrorism. They still somehow elude arrest. Kind of shared with a lot of trouble. It's turning out much greater than we thought. But I'm wondering we could shoot. I'm not sure. I don't know who we're actually up against, but we can't see the full picture. We don't even know whether it's a single individual or a large conglomerate of people. 
We do manage to get a lead. What do we do from there? Not going good. You know they're the two separate things, right? Your exams have nothing to do with MedChat, bro. Damn, this stuff's really not going so good. <laughs> Clues on Medjet, huh? Bro, clean your room. Filthy. You're worse than Mashima. Hiya. Are you here to shop today too? Strengthening my heart is turning out to be harder than I thought. Then maybe we can talk more about it. That's what I'm talking about! Hey! Look at those ducks over there. They must be a family. This place seriously feels amazing. It's not even that far from Shibuya, but it feels so different here. Hey! You know, Tokyo is so strange. There are tons of people and tons of stores, yet there are still duck-filled parks here, too. It has everything. But it feels like I can't understand any of it. It's honestly kind of scary. I know what you mean. I do not know what she means. Alright, you only just moved here. Hey. When I first got here, I had a super tough time adjusting. It's so crowded, everyone walks really fast, almost like they're angry. Even at school, I was only ever the foreigner. Nobody knew me, they just spread rumors. I thought maybe my looks were the problem. I even considered dyeing my hair black to match everyone else. But that was when Shiho talked to me. The first thing she said was... To Kamiki, your paintings suck. Dang. Was she right? She most definitely was not. Aww. I don't think they sucked at least. I ended up getting a D in art though. I wonder why. The paintings might have sucked. Still, that was the first time someone here talked about me without mentioning my looks. <laughs> we sort of just grew closer after that. And she has been my best friend ever since. That's not why I'm here though. Something else I need to talk to you about. Remember what I told you the last time we came here? About that female thief in the anime I used to watch? Well, I thought of something. Tell me. It's gonna knock your socks off. Um. You know how the villains in these shows are always going on about world domination. Well, even though they get beaten up by the heroes every time, they never give up. That must mean they really have solid hearts. And that's why I'm gonna try and learn from them. Good idea. Right? So I've decided. I'm gonna star in action movies. Good luck with that. Thanks, your support really helps. I might have been I might have been being sarcastic. All right, I'm making this my ultimate goal for the future. You know, I've never really thought of much about what I wanted to do in life, but now I have an objective. Thanks. How many setups I'll have to do? Ryu just says he knows a good gym. I should ask him for advice. Oh, yeah. Need to tell Shiho that I have a new goal. She'll definitely be happy to hear that. Come on, let's head home. Hi, it's me. You get to talk right now? So I'd like to think I'm pretty athletic, like I don't hate exercise or anything. But I'm exhausted just from running to the station earlier. Maybe y'all gotta train my body along with my heart. Do you do anything to train your body? I carry more gun in my bag. That's part of your training? But I guess that's kind of amazing. I mean, you never seem to struggle with it. I wonder how much Mona weighs. Maybe I'll try carrying him in my bag next time. Ah, you're back. Must be nice being a student. Medjet. Means the smiter. Nobody's actually sure that Medjet is a real name. On top of that, almost everything else about him is unknown. Even his form is unattainable. An unseen god that flies through the sky and shoots from his eyes. He truly is an elusive being. Everything about his existence is shrouded in mystery. Fundamentally speaking, ancient Egyptian art always depicted gods drawn on a side profile. However, Medjet is facing straight ahead in all, his, all depictions of him. Taking all that into account, he seems to be quite the alien being. I see. But that information was at least somewhat useful. Indeed it was. 
Look into it more. So we still don't have any tangible clues. Why are you telling me you're alone right now? Even though he literally hates us. Let's talk to Akechi. I'm alone right now. You do not text another man, I'm alone right now. <laughs> that's that's strange behavior. They will take that the wrong way. The cake here is fairly popular. Hold on. The cake here is fairly popular. I've been wanting to try it myself. Got a sweet tooth, huh? Well, I don't hate sweets, but I'm not partial to them. I'm not exactly partial to them. Fads tend to fairly fads tend to be fairly similar. So I'm more curious about its popularity than its taste. Why don't we give it a try? Mm, it was quite nice. I actually enjoyed that more than I thought I would. Hey, look, is that him? Oh, you mean the guy on TV these days? Who is he again? Wasn't his name Akechi, you know, the next generation detective prince? Somebody asking for an autograph? Might be something worth bragging about. Oh, looks like I've been spotted. I can shoot them away. I don't think that would work uh, well, well. I have a public image to think about. Uh, someone important here? Who is it? Is it a celebrity? Looks like I'm out of time. I wish I could have relaxed a little longer, though. We should go. <sighs> You've done nothing wrong, little man. Hmm. I think it's best to leave. I'm only I'm only gonna cause problems if I stay. Shame I don't have glasses like you. Maybe I would have been able to get out of this situation. Come here a sec. Uh, hold on a moment. Unzip your pant. Hold on. I'm not gonna lie. That's kind of clean. That's kind of clean. Oh, he's back. This time I get an autograph for... Is that boy really a catchy? You know, now that I'm seeing him up close, I'm not sure. Maybe you were seeing things. I don't remember the show too well, but I'm pretty sure... He, I, I'm pretty sure he didn't look like that. If he was a real thing, I could have bragged about meeting him. <sighs> I can't believe you actually did that. I suppose I'd better learn to watch what I say around you. I should have taken a picture. Are you familiar with the legal right of portrait? A privacy, or perhaps? Still, there's no knowing how things may go unless you give it a try, huh? Thank you. I've learned a valuable lesson. All right. Akachi is a strange specimen. I rock with him now. I'll see you later. Uh, shame my discussion was interrupted today. I was rather enjoying having a breather with you. But you certainly surprised me today. I can't believe we got out of that with such a basic trick. It was an interesting experience, but I definitely don't want to go through that ordeal ever again. I saw firsthand what happens when I get too careless with my words around you. I can always dress you up again. I hope you're not being serious. Though if you mean in any interest in being my stunt double, you can dress up as me. You and I are terribly different in height. I'm sure my clothes would fit you. If we do this, I'll have to be, I'll have to be carefully planned, of course. I'll be dictating everything from hair to accessories. Nobody would notice the switch, I'm sure. We proved it today. Most people can't see beyond the superficial. I have an early start tomorrow. I have to excuse myself. See you soon. Seems you've got your share of problems, inmate. To think you would relax under such circumstances. Either you're quite bold or quite foolish. I'm foolish, I'm not I'm gonna lie. Unseen form. Hmm. It seems you've been targeted by troublesome company. You mean magic? 
<laughs> I've been enjoying this endless dispute over justice. However, it will soon come to an end, and through the appearance of an unexpected force of all things. Engaging with formidable enemies is also part of your rehabilitation. I ask that you overcome this. After all, you must hone your powers and become a magnificent thief. It's really summer now. I get sweaty just walking a little bit. I didn't think Medjed would pounce on the Phantom Thieves. Interesting things keep happening this year. The influence of the Phantom Thieves knows no bounds. I underestimated it, honestly. I wonder what the public thinks of this. Are they entertained? Or perhaps inconvenienced? Entertained, probably. Entertained, huh? A luxury for the uninvolved. I know they mean no ill intent. So this is what the public thinks. Oops. I don't have time for a conversation. My attendance has been poor due to interviews lately. Thank you for your valuable opinion. I'll see you around. News on the Phantom Thieves versus Mad Jet. Which one of them come out on top? They're both just criminals pretending to be heroes. Ask me, Mad Jet causes way more trouble. They attack every company they set their sights on. So something happens soon. You gotta tell me, what do you think will win? Phantom Thieves, obviously. What? Hey, your phone was buzzing earlier. And I ignored it for a reason. Oh my goodness. Message from an unknown account. Nice to meet you. I'm the one they call Alibaba. When I ask you something, you're a Phantom Thief, aren't you? Can you really Who steal is hearts? This? Why does he know that you're a Phantom Thief? Is one of our teammates pulling a prank on you? Someone whose heart I'd like you to steal. I'm not asking for charity, let's make a deal. You wish to know about Medjet, correct? I can give you information on them if the change of heart is successful. If you so desire, I can take care of them as well. Do you believe in my skills? I can track down their accounts just as I have with yours. But this is all I can prove at the moment. I've prepared a necessary tool on my end. Look forward to Shouldn't it. Shouldn't you respond to it? Who is this? Merit message. Mm -hmm. You can't reply back. I don't know what this is all about, but we should probably let everyone know about this. Wowza. Considering he mentioned stealing hearts, he knows, doesn't he? Seems so. How were we found out? He may have traced our chat lock. I was think- How careless of us. I was thinking about this before, right? But I never said nothing. Like, in my head, it's a video game. So they're probably not bothering with it. They're not gonna mention it. But, they're on the phone in text messages talking about phantom thief activity. That is not smart. <laughs> but how would he have known all these details with just that? Do you think that there is another cause? Yeah. I'm not sure why, but that's the feeling I get. Hey, is it that easy to look at someone else's chat log? I don't know much about it myself, but it's probably not impossible, I think. How's it done? Maybe they extracted our phone's data? Why is he getting an error when he tries to reply? Perhaps the receiving end doesn't exist. That's possible? Don't ask me everything. I told you that I don't know much about it. Wait, might this be what is referred to as hacking? Then does that mean this guy's a hacker? I don't get high-tech stuff. What does this all mean? An unknown hacker contacted us. I see. I don't really get it. Then, is this person measured? I doubt it. Considering he says he wants to deal with them. That is, only if we take his words for face value. 
True. Hey, wouldn't it be great if we got this guy on our side? But we know nothing about his identity at all. We can't trust him. I don't think it's a bad deal, though. Even if Alibaba turns out to be a criminal, I am not helping anyone of that sort. Oh, right. That wouldn't be good. The I've prepared the necessary tool part makes no sense either. Could this just be a prank? Nah. He knows an awful lot for it to be a prank. If he knows who we are, won't we get caught? No, if he wanted to report us, I think he would have done it already. He must have some sort of objective of his own. He did offer us a deal after all. I'm certain he'll contact us again. There's no telling when he'll do so, though. It'd be best if we stay together. If something happens, we can act at once. Yeah, so somewhere we can wait and hide for long hours. How about LeBlanc? with a big group good evening we were thinking about putting together plans for our summer hmm. is that a new face I see it's nice to meet you my name is Makoto Nijima I hope we're not being a bother she's our student council president Nijima is something wrong no it's nothing a student council president eh <laughs> I'm stunned. I hope he's not causing you too much trouble. I'm Sojiro Sakura, but everyone just calls me boss. By the way, that was addressed to you. Uh, this old man will get going and leave you kids be. All right, the store's all yours. We have late breaking news on Medjit, whose notoriety rose since their statement the other day. Just moments ago, a new message has been released on their website. They have announced their victory over the Phantom Thieves. Medjid also warns any Japanese citizens who praised the Phantom Thieves to stop doing so. We will report any further actions by Medjid as they arrive. Announce victory? Oh, come on! It's in English! Let me see. The Phantom Thieves remain silent at our question. This proves that we are just. People of Japan, wake up. You must not worship the Phantom Thieves. What? That's bullshit! Keep listening. We will discipline any who worship them. The punishment is the confiscation of possessions. We are Medjed. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. That's what it says. What does that all mean? They're saying that they'll target sympathizers of the Phantom Thieves. Confiscation of possessions, hmm? Perhaps bank accounts or personal information. Either way, it won't be anything pleasant. Why the hell are we being singled out? Perhaps all they care about is labeling the Phantom Thieves as crooks. That all this wouldn't have happened had the Phantom Thieves not existed. That's complete bullshit! Talk about a troublesome organization that we've been targeted by. Isn't there anything we can do? It's certain we can't do anything about this on our own. Hey, so what's this letter about? No need any more trouble. It's rare for you to get something like this. Calling card. Oh, wow. Anything else in there? Who's this from, anyway? There's no stamp on it. Someone must have directly dropped it into the mailbox here. Could it have been Alibaba? That reminds me. He did mention something about preparing the necessary tool. Don't tell me. Is this what he was talking about? What the hell's going on here? All we can do at the moment is wait for Alibaba's orders. Let's brace ourselves and stand by, in case anything comes up. Oh dear.
really started turning the heat up on the forum. I put a special post up and everything. Fan of these showdowns between the showdown between the just fan of thieves and the global organization is here. I've been great. Everyone's really engaged. Most of the comments are pro Phantom Thieves, most likely because of Kanashira. Other side say Mad Jet are hackers of justice. There's nothing resembling justice in what they do. I want the whole site to be filled with pro thief comments. I'm looking forward to the day that finally he arrives. Can look forward to whatever he wants. We have no means of striking back against Mad Jet. We're gonna be in deep trouble if we don't do something. Playing calling card, what's going on? Good morning. Every day is so hot. I empty my water bottle so fast. By the way, summer break is coming up. Could I ask what your plans are? Got nothing. I see. You have the time to make plans in advance. Then maybe we'll have a chance to practice some more. I'll be sure to give you proper instruction. Let me know whenever you're available. Alibaba message you. My goodness. Oh my goodness. Yuji again. There we go. Good day. Good day to you too. Ah, you're responding today. Once again, I'm Alibaba. You're the leader of the Phantom Thieves, correct? That's right. You received the calling so card. So it really was from this guy. Are you at school right now? I'm in class. Diligent the student. I prepared the calling card for you. When are you going to steal it? What are you talking about? Stealing a heart, of course. Aren't you able to steal a heart as long as you have a calling card? Tell him. We need the name of the target. I need a name. A name. Is your heart thievery truly impossible without such information? It is. I suppose past calling cards did have names on them. One moment. I believe their name was Futaba Sakura. If you fail in this mission, I'll expose your identity to the, to the world and, the, and to the police. Well then, I'll be counting on you. We shall speak again after the change of heart. Who is Futaba Sakura? So he threatened you, then just took off? Oh my goodness. Sakura? I feel like I've heard that name before. You have? In any case, we should let everyone know about this. We're gonna get reported if we don't do this? What the hell? Taba Sakura? Wasn't Sakura... It's boss's last name! Does he have any family? Does he? For reals? How laid back are you? Wouldn't you normally be introduced at least? I mean, you are living at his place. Well, his situation does make things difficult. The calling card was delivered to boss's house. It'd be more natural to assume this is all related. One of the reasons for that is because Alibaba mentioned nothing about which Futaba Sakura. Perhaps he thinks that the name alone is enough. That makes sense. I believe it's adequate for us to think that this is the doing of someone close by. I see. I don't know how Alibaba got a hold of his smartphone information. However, since he's ordering us through chat, I do feel as though he's taunting us. Imagine it was Sojiro. Imagine it's Sojiro. <laughs> that would be freaky. You mean this might just be a prank? I mean, look at his demands. Pay me if you don't want me to leak who you really are. That I'd understand. But he's telling us to steal someone's heart without explaining why. So we're being tested. Regardless, I think we should ask boss about Futaba Sakura once. That's probably for the best. There's nothing else we can do at the moment, and Chief might have an idea on what this is about, too. I'll check the school's roster just in case. We must make sure Boss doesn't figure out who we are. 
We'll have to go about this cautiously. Hmm? What's up? Who's Futaba Sakura? Why do you know about that? Whoa, whoa! Hey, big fella! <sighs> big fella, big fella! It's got nothing to do with you. Hey, bro, my fault. I'm going home. Make sure you lock up the place. My fault. Looks like it's a hit. Just remember, we able to ask boss. He didn't want to talk. Reason as to why. Might be our only hope in defeating Mad Jet. I wish we could get some info about Futaba. Trying to force out the opposite effect. I owe a great deal to boss and him. I don't wish to be the source of the discord. Wait for boss to bring it up himself. Yo, tomorrow's the end of the first semester, but we still got all this lame shit coming up. If you don't take care of this lame shit, you can kiss your summer vacation goodbye. Oh yeah, about this Futaba Sakura girl. If she's related to boss, think people living nearby would know about her? That's some keen intuition coming from you, Ryuji. You should have made use of that on your exams. Oh, I never want to think about exams ever again. Anyway... Asking around in your neighborhood might be the fastest way to figure this shit out. Yeah. And again, I doubt it'll be that easy. It never is. Mm. Yuji might be right. We don't have a single clue. Might as well. We got nothing to lose. Ow! Futaba, Futaba, yeah, I heard that name before. That was the name of the teacher I had a crush on when I was in elementary school. Okay, I didn't ask all that, bro. Futaba, no, I don't know who that could be. Someone. Futaba, who knows? By the way, do you eat a lot? I'm a growing boy. Futaba, who's that? I don't know anybody by that name. Wouldn't this Futaba get angry if they found out you were snooping on them, though? If you're useless, don't talk. My goodness. Futaba? No, nope, don't know anyone like that. I come to Sakura often to make deliveries, but I've never seen who you're talking about. I think that kind of, like... I think that's enough of a clue. I, I I think Futaba might be inside of this house. Oh. I think Futaba might be inside of that house. Soccer is single, right? I thought I didn't have any children. So up until now, our biggest lead seems to be the chief buys a lot of food, far more than enough for one person living alone. Let's check out all the shops where you can buy food. Okay. What shots exactly can this you buy a lot of This place is close to LeBlanc, so we might be able to learn something here. Hey there, welcome. Hmm, Futaba? Over at Sakura-san's? I haven't heard anything. Uh, sorry. Hmm, we didn't find anything on Futaba. I think our only option now is to go home and ask the chief directly. You read the letter, did you not? So you're the one who tipped him off about Futaba. You really shouldn't have done that. I have no intention of talking to you about Wakaba. Tipped off? What are you talking about? Back to the matter at hand. Your parental authority will have to be suspended. I take it you're okay with that outcome? What? Considering the state of your daughter and your family overall, there are no points in your favor. Would you like to take this to domestic court? Our chances of victory are roughly 99.9% .9 though. With these suspicions of abuse, there's no way you could avoid having your custody revoked. You're going that far? I told you I don't know a damn thing about it! We're extremely serious about this. As long as there's a possibility that cognitive science can be linked to psychotic breakdowns. 
What? Fine. You win. Thank you. I will contact you at a later date. I doubt you'll find anything you want to hear, though. That's fine. It will be up to us to decide whether the information you give us is useful or not. Next time I come here, it will just be for a nice cup of coffee. Please don't come back. You nuisance. And stay out! That woman is real good at pissing people off. What's with that look? You got something to say? Custody? This doesn't involve you. Is Futaba your daughter? But that's enough. Just behave yourself and keep going to school if you don't want me to throw you out of here. You got that? Lock the store up. Well, that basically confirms Futaba exists, at least. But it sounds like she's got her own problems. More so, our conjecture that Alibaba is connected to LeBlanc seems to have a pretty solid foundation. Oh, and didn't they mention cognitive something? I wonder what the chief's hiding. We can't really press him on the subject, though, especially after he mentioned throwing you out. Find anything, running. Tell you tomorrow. I'm excited Thanks. to kill her. Well then. Where have you been? A woman was threatening boss? Yeah. She was going on about domestic abuse and taking the case to court and stuff. Oh. What's up? It's nothing. So to summarize what you told us, Futaba is boss's daughter, and he's abusing her? I don't know him very well. Is he really the kind of person who would do that? There's no way. I would like to believe so as well, but we don't have any conclusive evidence, do we? Is it Alibaba? I've given you a calling card and told you the target's name. You should be ready for this. Why aren't you doing it? I told you I'd help you if you stole their heart, which seems to be the holdup. I also said I'd report your identity if you didn't help me. Are you okay with that? I'm serious here. Selfish person. Like, calm down! This is a process! Well, he does have information on us. Anyways, this Futaba he's talking about have a palace? If so, we need keywords to get in. Try messaging him about him. Tell me your keywords. What are we supposed to do about this? We'd be able to figure out Alibaba's identity if we could just meet with him. Try asking him if there's any way we could meet up. Let's meet somewhere, dog. Meet with me, that would be difficult. I have reasons for not being able to go out. That's why I'm contacting you like this. You can't this. go out? I get it. You'd steal people's hearts directly. That might make things difficult, extremely difficult. One moment. It's a shame, but I'm calling this deal off. Stop looking into Futaba. Forget this ever happened. I won't report you to the police either. Don't worry. Sorry for taking your time. Wait a second. We're never gonna speak again. Don't expect me to contact you anymore either. Hold on. We're, we're not done. We're not done. Huh? Did he just shut the whole operation down? This doesn't make any sense. Not only can Alibaba not go birthday. out, but he won't let us meet Futaba either. Well, it's none of our business now. We can't contact him anymore. But what do we do about Medjed? We won't be able to get Alibaba to help us with them now. Maybe they were just pranking us. They made that huge declaration, but they ain't done nothing since. <laughs> I bet we got them freaked out. You mean they backed out because they're afraid we'll change their hearts? Yep. And now it'd just make them look lame if they came out and apologized. But... I guess with Alibaba and Medjet out of the picture, can we just say this case is closed? No. You do have a point. No, he doesn't. I guess it is safe for us to relax a little. Oh yeah, remember Kanashiro's treasure? 
Prepare to have your minds blown. We got 150,000 yen out of it. Is that a lot? That's awesome. We can really go all out with that kind of money. Yeah. Let's make up for what happened at the fireworks festival. We got to go eat something fitting for the Phantom Thieves worldwide debut. Mm, where would be good? Ooh, how about sushi? I could really go for some eel too. The best method is to fill yourself on ginger before beginning to eat sushi. That is my master technique. You don't need to do that this time. Actually, definitely don't do it, okay? I'm all for sushi. You're okay with that too, right? That's fine. Then it's decided. All right, we'll go tomorrow night. This is a terrible idea. I, I, I'm, I, I'm, we, we need to, we need to figure something out. Man, I've been with a prank. Think about it, Colin. I haven't done anything yet. The ghost target the fan of thieves. They should want to be acting now. Taunted us theoretically. Guys, come up with a countermeasure. But now we should cautiously enjoy the sushi. Something is not right. Thinking that too, Yusuke is right. Barging in on the day, on the day of our party too. You seem quite busy, Sai-san. I take it you're stuck in the middle of everything? The Phantom Thieves made a mockery of us when they brought down Kaneshiro. And to make matters worse, Mejid, who has been dormant for some time now, just declared war on them. How much more can they screw us over? Stress is bad for the skin, you know. Did you come all this way simply to be sarcastic? How about you listen to my deductions for a change of pace? You may think it absurd. But, don't you think the case you're pursuing and the actions of the Phantom Thieves overlap somehow? What are you basing this off of? The one point of commonality across all cases is how those involved have an unforeseen change of heart. I've suspected that myself, but those suspicions are unfounded. I told you at the beginning that this was only a deduction. These just Phantom Thieves are riling up the public. However, that is a disguise. Their true goal is terrorist action by way of psychotic breakdowns. Is that too much? There's nothing at the moment that falsifies that claim. Have you mentioned this to the police? I'd never tell them such things. The only value they have to me is in their mobility and organizational capabilities. Hmm. It seems having you lend me a hand has paid off. I'm glad to hear that. What about your case, Sai-san? Did you learn anything from the guardian of that mental shutdown victim's daughter? Nothing at all. I see. Now, what should my next action be for our victory? Oh, snap. So Sojiro is taking care of, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll assume like his niece or, or whatever. Cause, cause um, Futaba's mother had a, a mental shutdown. Handle the Phantom Thieves without remorse. Use any means necessary to win. That's how I would deal with them. <laughs> Very well. This seems to be fun for you. Are you on to something? No, not at all. Well then, to our victory. Okay. Poison Kenza. See any prices listed here? It's called market price. Don't worry about it. We got the cash. So good. <laughs> Calm down. Hey, is the fatty tuna ready yet? Of course you want that, you cat. Eat your horses. Yeah, don't talk. By the way, is Boss really the kind of person who would abuse someone? No. Again. I can't get it off my mind. 
Especially if it means he could be taken to court. What kind of person is he? Do you truly believe he'd do such a thing? No chance. Hmm. If it's really true about the abuse, he'd be a no good jerk pretending to be a guardian. Maybe the chief is the one who needs a change of heart. Hold on a sec. About that. I actually got curious after our conversation and checked his name in the nav. Sounds to me like there wasn't a hit. Right. Anything beyond this is his family's problem. We probably shouldn't get any more involved. Wait, you think Alibaba could be Boss's ex-wife? He must have cheated on her and that's where Futaba came from. Doubtful. What is bro on about? Your imagination has run rampant. He is chatting. How foolish. Mm, still, this is delicious. I've never experienced anything quite like it before. Man, and it's all thanks to us being the Phantom Thieves. It... Crap. Ryuji, I'm so sick and tired of you, bro. I am so sick and tired of you. We hear about these phantom thieves. What rubbish. Think about where we are, Ryuji. Sorry, it just kind of slipped. Shut up! My apologies for bringing up boss. Don't, don't talk anymore, we Ryuji. Just enjoy the food. Just super glue your mouth shut. Ijima san, what are you doing here? Akechi kun. What are you doing here, Akechi? Akechi. You're the ones from the TV station. Could it be that you're friends of Nijima-san? Do you know this guy? It's nice to meet you. My name is Akechi. Glad to make your acquaintance, Yusuke Kitagawa. How do you know my name? Well, because I'm a psychic, of course. You are not Sayaka! <laughs> I'm only joking. In truth, I'm a rookie detective. You're a former pupil of Madarame, right? I have actually just recently joined the investigation team looking into the Phantom Thieves. Did you see that Mejed has declared war on them? War? Their website was updated just a moment ago. For real? Die English again! Wait, what? What's it say? Huh. Why do you seem so agitated? Oh, um... She's uh, a, a huge fan of the Phantom Thieves. Uh, a total nut job for him. Hmm. I don't know how wise it is to be a fan of groups like them. Bro, hang yourself. What is with these comments? My apologies. I didn't mean to butt into your conversation. But I must say, this is an interesting group. Prosecutor Nijima's sister, an ex pupil of Madarame, and a few Shujin Academy students. It seems you're all connected to the Phantom Thieves. Perhaps you have better intel than I do. Ah, yes. I wanted to ask you something. Regarding this whole Mejed commotion, if you were one of the Phantom Thieves, what would you do? Probably ignore them. That is unexpected. Only a small minority of people believe that is the best decision. Sorry to disappoint, but we're just normal high school kids. If anything, we want to hear what you got to say, Mr. Detective. My profiling of the Phantom Thieves has led me to believe they are a group of juveniles. They have a relative amount of free time after school and a hideout to slip away to. Furthermore, considering Kamashita was their first target, it seems they began activity around April. In a way, all I've just said about the Phantom Thieves coincides with the group you have here. Nuh-uh! What? You gonna report us? I didn't say I was being suspicious of you. Ryuji, you need to learn how to stop talking! My goodness! Ryuji's a Phantom Thief! M me? You're siding with him? I wasn't anticipating that response. 
You always find a way to rise above my expectations. You really are an intriguing one. Shut up. I lack your calm mannerisms, but don't you think my deduction is an interesting one? Not really. I bet we'd make a great team if we work together. If you ask me, your deduction is just it just sounds like nonsense, bro. Like, please go home and like rethink your thoughts because you it sounds like gibberish. You're reaching, bro. And I don't mean you're reaching out to the truth on some persona four. I'm talking about your persona three. You're reaching out to the stars that's reaching out to the moon. No, you're reaching out to the moon that's reaching out to stars. When the moon reaches stars. Yeah, that's how it goes. I just stole that from Sonny. <laughs> By the way, he said that to me yesterday. It was funny. What the hell are you saying? Well, this has been a valuable point of reference for me. I hope to see you all again. What was that about? Do you think he's ascertained our true identities? Nah, couldn't be. Right? I'd like to say that it's simply us overthinking this, but maybe best to be cautious from now on. We shouldn't forget that Alibaba was able to discover who we are. True, but it's not as though he had tangible evidence to prove that discovery. Just keep acting normally. More importantly, things are getting serious with Medjet. Oh yeah, what did they write? Here, I'll read it. We are disappointed in the people of Japan and their belief in the Phantom Thieves' false justice. Hence, we shall proceed with our plan to cleanse Japan. This process will commence on cleanse? August 21st. As a result, the Japanese economy shall suffer devastating damages. For real? Keep going. However, we are magnanimous. We will give the Phantom Thieves one final opportunity to repent. As proof of this repentance, we demand that they reveal their identities to the public. We will attack if these demands remain unmet. The future of Japan rests with the Phantom Thieves. We are Majed, we are unseen, we will eliminate evil. That's what it says. Y'all sound evil to us? Sounds bad. Y'all sound evil. In other words, if we don't unmask ourselves, Majed will attack Japan, correct? And it seems they are quite the attention seekers. What are we gonna do about this? Only we could get in contact with Alibaba. Our only clues are Boss and Futaba. Anyways, it's too damn hot out here. Why don't we go to LeBlanc? We can talk more over there. We went through all sorts of options on our way here, but looks like we got no choice but to ask for Alibaba's help. Question is, how do we get in touch with him? He cut off all contact with us after that misunderstanding. Then again, if we manage to steal Futaba's heart, he may attempt to reach out to us once more. But we don't have any clues on what her keywords are. We can guess. Damn it, Alibaba! Where the hell are you? Actually, he may be closer than we think. Huh? Hypothetically speaking, even if we stole Futaba's heart, how would Alibaba know that the deed has been done? Would he truly be able to discern that just from cell phone messages? Don't tell me it's actually Sojiro. Bro. You mean he'd have to meet her in person? I said that as a joke! I said it as a joke! Don't tell me it's actually Sojiro. Alibaba was able to deliver the calling card here. On top of that, he can check on Futaba's condition. However, according to the circumstances he put forth, he's unable to meet with us. This leads me to believe that it would be bad for him if we were to see the two of them together. It seems to me, Alibaba may in fact be Futaba oh, okay. herself. I was thinking that as well. I was also thinking that Alibaba was Futaba. That's something that, that was also one of my thoughts, but I felt like that was like kind of Dumb. Not dumb, but I, I didn't think they would do that. You feel you feel me? I didn't think they would do that. And plus, thinking that Alibaba was Sojiro, that was a lot funnier to me, I'm not gonna lie. That was a lot funnier. That would have been a lot crazier. For real? So she's asking that we steal her own heart? Maybe she wants us to save her from the scars of her abuse. That would be hard to ask directly. I'd like to meet with Boss. He lives nearby, right? 
I know where his house is. I agree. It's real late, though. What are we gonna tell Boss when we get there? We'll say this takeout sushi is a gift for him. But my fatty too. Shut up! No complaining. Let's all go together. Boss may get the wrong idea if he and I show up alone. Nobody's answering. But the lights are on. Think she's napping? Even Boss would have woken up with how many times we've rung this doorbell. I would think Futaba would have answered by now if she were here, too. Oh, the gate is unlocked. Dude, you can't go opening other people's stuff like that. But look, the door seems to be slightly open as well. Oh, oh no, nah, something might be happening. It's rather careless. Well, it sounds like it's going to rain. We should get inside. Do you think that's okay? I don't know. Probably. If you go to some if you go to somebody's house and their door is partly open and easily accessible, the first thing you need to do is not worry about nothing else. You need to check on their well-being because they could be in danger. My apologies, boss. Hello, sir? He's not out, is he? The door ahead is open, and I can hear the TV. I hope he didn't pass out or something. I mean, boss is kind of old, ain't he? I'm a bit worried. Should we go in and check on him? Please excuse us. How should I know? Did you hear that? Let's get out of here, please! Can we just go? What are you freaking out for? What are you freaking out for? I'm not freaking out! Shut up! Could it be Alibaba? I mean, Futaba? But, sorry, um... Can I hold your hand? That Do camera work right? was crazy. Just show yourself. On Takamaki, shut sorry, up. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please save me, sister. Are you okay, Butala? Crap, he's home. Who the hell are you? Don't move. Did you hear me? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, sis. Somebody please save me. You? What are you doing in my house? Uh, You're... Oh, uh, good... Good evening, sir. Uh, we... Uh, we didn't mean to intrude. Nijima-san. Wait, are, are you two dating? We're just friends. Friends nowadays get that close to each other? But that's not it. You kids are here too? Um, we brought you some sushi, but nobody answered when we rang the bell. The door was unlocked too. We could hear the TV though, so we got worried he might have passed out or something. The door was unlocked? Yes. Uh, I do that sometimes. Guess I'm getting old. Um, excuse me. There's something we'd like to ask. Hmm? You want to ask me? 
There's someone else living here. Isn't there? Yeah. My daughter. Oh, he does have a daughter. Could she be Futaba Sakura? You told Nijima-san too? Uh, um, is there any way we could meet with Futaba-san? I think we may have frightened her earlier, so we'd like to apologize if at all possible. Well, uh, that's... Is she sick? No, no, it's not like that. I don't want you all getting the wrong idea. I shouldn't have kept this a secret from you. Let's talk at my shop. She'll hear us if we stay here. Now, where do I start? Futaba's mother and I knew each other long before Futaba was born. Her mother was a bit of a weird one, but we got along well for some reason. She was sharp-witted, somewhat stern, a little socially inept, but always carefree. She truly was a great woman. I see. When something piqued her interest, that'd be all she focused on. She always worked deep into the night. I thought that'd change after her kid was born. But having Futaba didn't do much. Even with that, she always took good care of her. Working and watching over a child at the same time sounds rough. I guess raising Futaba alone turned out to be tough on her in more ways than one. No father? There wasn't a father. Do you mean... Dang, no daddy. Well, there probably was one. I didn't know him, though. She never said a word about him, either. She was single when she gave birth to Futaba, and single when she raised her. They were an ordinary, loving family. You could really tell how much she cared for Futaba. <sighs> but one day, she left, leaving Futaba behind. Left? Explain? Yes. She committed suicide. Suicide? Threw herself into the street, right in front of Futaba's eyes. Shocking doesn't begin to describe that. It's gotta be devastating for a kid. She left a message. So... Well, a lot happened after that, but I ended up taking custody of Futaba. First, she was so depressed, she... she wouldn't even talk to me. Was that because she couldn't get over her mother's suicide? I kept talking to her, though. And she started opening up to me, little by little. That's when I found out. Futaba blames herself for her mother's death. What? But why? That part she's never told me. I wanted to know what led her to believing that. But I decided not to rub salt in the wound. Then, a few months ago, she started getting real scared. Even when nothing was happening, she'd say things like, I hear voices, and Mom is looking at me. Visual and auditory hallucinations. Have you taken Futaba to a doctor? I wanted to, but she refused. Even when I had a doctor come, she locked herself away in her room. Since then, she's become what you'd call a shut-in. She won't take a single step outside the house, or even try to see other people. What about you? She doesn't even let me come in her room. That's pretty harsh. Futaba is, well, a unique girl. She's so quick-minded that conversations with her tend to jump from one topic to the next. It seems like she's always coming to conclusions in her head. There's a lot I don't get about her. Hmm. So, yeah, her situation is why I couldn't let you in my house. I understand. What Futaba needs is a safe place where nobody will threaten her. Somewhere she can be at ease. That's why I won't do anything she doesn't want. I don't make her do anything she's unwilling to, either. And again, I know that's no way for her to live. It's all I can do, though. What does Futaba want? I don't know. She just asks me for things that she wants, like food or... These complicated books. Well, 
That's that. So, can you just leave her be? I'm gonna head back then. You all had better head home soon, too. I feel awful for prying into his personal affairs. No way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. It's possible. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? Candidate found. What the? She's got one. So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana. Uh, where's Morgana? We left them at the house. I haven't seen him for some time. So, ever since we went inside Boss's house? Somewhere around there. He'll be fine, though. He's a cat, after all. The trains are gonna be shutting down for the night soon, so we should probably be heading home. We have to go to school in the morning, after all. Oh, right. The urgent assembly. An assembly? What about? Shujin has been garnering a lot of attention ever since Medjet called out the Phantom Thieves. So, they need to remind us not to say arbitrary stuff online and add more fuel to the fire. We gotta meet up for every goddamn little thing. <sighs> Talk about a pain in the ass. I mean, it is our fault. Anyway, let's contact each other afterward. No way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? What the...? She's got one! So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana... Where'd Morgana go? And not that I really care though. I'm, I'm fine. I'm glad to have the place on my sofa once, you know. I'll just add this. Well, okay, things is turning up a bit. This is the interesting direction to go. You're gonna let me save, right? That's it, so guys. If y'all enjoy it, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and read the mind tap into the next one. Uh Next episode, I'm probably I'm probably gonna record. It. I'm probably gonna start back recording in a, like an hour, maybe 30 minutes. You know, just rest a little bit, eat something, and then get back going to it. You know how it be. You know how I go. You know how I roll. You know how I vote. Uh, peace out. I love you.